Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time, we talked about just a few of the things that we know about the creator of the universe. I'll bet we could figure out a few more with just a little time and effort, but first, I wanted to talk about what might be a touchy subject for some, religion. There are many different religions coming in many different types, all making claims which we either need to accept or reject. However, when a religion makes a claim, we have the right to ask questions about it, do research, compare notes, and so forth. In this way, we can determine whether a specific religion's claims are rational. Naturalism is the belief that nature is all there is. This religion doesn't have a leg to stand on. As I said in episode 10, the universe didn't exist forever, and it needs to have been created by something eternal. Given the evidence we have right now, we can dismiss naturalism out of hand. Atheism is the belief that there is no God, but this belief system seems to fly in the face of the facts in this case. In episode 12, I went over the evidence for the creator of the universe being God. If there's a hole in this reasoning, I haven't been able to find it, but I welcome input in this regard. I'd genuinely like to hear from some honest atheists about this. Agnosticism is the position that one doesn't know whether there's a God or not, and is withholding judgment. And it's a position that I really respect, because in the absence of evidence, that's what you do, withhold judgment. The problem is, we do have evidence for the existence of God. Lots of it. So while I respect agnostics, I'm convinced they're wrong, based on the proofs we've been discussing. All other religions can be classified as either philosophies, pantheisms, polytheisms, deisms, and theisms. Virtually all religions fit into one of these categories. Shinto, for example, is polytheistic. Buddhism and Confucianism are philosophies with no necessary references to God or the universe's origins. Hinduism is pantheism, and most Western religions are theisms. Why are philosophies considered religions? I'm not sure. I think the main reason is that the definition of religion is different in the East than in the West. They seem to prioritize morals and the pursuit of wisdom in their religions rather than explaining what the universe is and where it came from. In short, these religions have less to do with God than with people, what people should be doing and what they do. Because there's not much in philosophies that seeks to explain the universe, I'll be basically ignoring them for now. They're not competing explanations, so there's no reason to analyze them. Pantheism is the belief that the whole universe is God, and God is the whole universe. This is disprovable on at least two levels, and probably more besides. I'll start with the most basic one. Way back in episode 2, we discussed axioms. Basic rules of logic that are always right no matter what, and the second rule was this. A thing isn't what it isn't. Because of this, we know that trees and rocks and plants are trees, rocks, and plants. They're not trees, rocks, plants, and also something else. Furthermore, we also prove that God is not a part of the universe in the very early parts of episode 12, because then he would need to create himself while creating the universe, which is impossible. Polytheism is the belief that there are many gods. However, this offers no sufficient explanation for the order in the universe, or the perfectly unified effort which resulted in its creation. God is both one and multiple, not just multiple. Because of this, polytheists miss part of the picture. Deists, for the most part, are people who insist that although God created the universe, he then left it to its own devices and no longer exercises any significant power over it. But we've already proven that the power, knowledge, and goodness of God have to be infinite, and this means that there's no way they don't reach in some way. Any god that was oblivious to certain things happening in the universe, or powerless to make certain things happen, also wouldn't be able to create the universe in the first place. Every time I study a religion, I find myself comparing it with the facts I've already discovered to see if I can convince myself of its truthfulness, but there are always these confusing aspects that get in the way, making it hard for me to see how the belief system could be founded in logic. In fact, I think that out of all the religions and belief systems I've studied, there's only one that seems to completely conform to the facts we have and also proposes an explanation that makes sense for the oneness and multipleness of God. Christianity. Does this necessarily mean that Christianity is true? No, but it does mean that every other God-centric religious belief system is wrong about some things. But how could Christianity be right when there are over 40,000 groups that all claim to be Christian, and none of them can agree with one another? Mm, I'm so excited! I can't wait to find out more! That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.